All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you going up on eBay's classic website for no reserve, starting off at one single penny and selling to the highest bidder for no reserve, is my awesome street legal sand limo sand car. Yes, folks, this is an original sand limo frame, sand limo complete car built by Joe Fab here in Arizona. He is still in business today. One of the leading manufacturers of sand rails, off-road cars. His cars ship all over the world in the United States. They go uh, all over to different continents. You know, you have Dubai, Saudi Arabia. Um, everyone buys these cars. The leading manufacturers are here in Arizona. San Limo, Joe Fab, also uh, Tato Motorsports, also Danny Fod Rail. Um, there are a number of other manufacturers in California. You know, Buckshot, Sand Cars, um, and Suspensions Unlimited. But the high dollar cars right here, like I said, the uh, San Limo, Tato Motorsports, um, these are one of the best cars that you can buy. Uh, all types of manufacturers are here. A lot of people come over from different states to get their suspension, their uh, welding, their roofs. You have Geyser uh, for the UTVs. You have Wheeler Racing. You have Shock Therapy. So, like I said, this car is going up for no reserve. It will sell to the highest bidder for no reserve. Don't wait till the last minute. It has a clean, clear Arizona title in my name. It is actually insured, registered to me. You can go through Geico or Foremost, which I use, which is a subsidiary of Geico. You can drive on the freeway. You can go out in the dirt, the sand, the dunes. Uh, way safer than any type of UTV out there right now. And I'm gonna go over some great, great features on this car to start with. King shocks. This utilizes King shocks. These are the best hands down in the market, even compared to Fox, in my opinion. I love King shocks. Uh, adjustable coilovers in the front, along with adjustable coilovers in the back with the uh, bypass piggyback reservoirs right there with the uh, uh, compression uh, fittings. All this stuff is all top of the line. Kings have been around for a long time. Robbie Gordon actually is in contract, I believe, or partnership with Kings on the new Speed UTV to actually manufacture part of his uh, shocks, the RG shocks, if I'm not mistaken. But I prefer Kings uh, over shocks. I've had plenty of sand cars, uh, off-road cars, Predator cars, UTVs, and in my opinion, there's nothing better than King. Um, to go over a couple things here, I wanna show you, like I said, this is the real deal. That's notorious for sand limo. They actually put their name, um, water jet or cnc jet in the uh, trailing arms and then right here in the front you can tell with their chrome alloy suspension as you can see this is all san limo so this is san limo king shocks go over here to the seats to show you these are actually san limo racing seats same thing in the back which i want to show you. this is very very nice um so this is san limo and then i will think about including um the two kitty suspension seats these actually just sit securely right in and then the seats harnesses for the seat belts go right through them so you can actually remove these which i will take them out just to show you here and you can actually remove these for four full-size adults you know i'm six foot two 230 pounds i have plenty of headroom but these seats are you know if you have someone probably up to about 10 or 12 you know a little boy a little girl you can actually put them in there and those will come through um I actually have headsets, which I will think about uh, selling. Those won't be included in the car with the seats. Um, they can be purchased separately, so you can plug in your headsets, rugged radios. A um, couple other things with your GoPro right here. You can put a GoPro mount, and then you can put a GoPro mount right there. And then you have your rear view mirror for the street, driver's mirror, your passenger mirror. And then you have your holders right there for your headsets, headsets. Um, you have heated seats. This does have heated seats. As you can see right here, your heated seats, your power steering, adjustable seats for any type of driver. Car is extremely safe. So I'll touch on those things right here with the five point harnesses. So you have the uh, three inch shoulder belts, the three inch lap belts, and then the uh, crotch belt. So the uh, laps, shoulders with the shoulder harnesses right here. Keep you securely locked in. You're not gonna go anywhere. Same thing in the uh, rear for the kiddos. Keep you securely locked in. Quick clean floor system. Your sand limo right there, as you can see, your VIN number. You have your turning brakes right here. Uh, all hydraulic brake and clutch, dead man's foot pedal. CNC, so we'll go ahead and uh, start the car here for you. Just so you can see, we are in neutral. You have your electronic fuel pump, 
So fuel pump will kick on. Go ahead and start the car right here for you. Ecotech. Custom exhaust. You got power steering, like I said, your turning brakes, your lighted whip. Uh, you just need to put your lighted whip back there, which you'll have to replace, which is about 40 bucks. You got your lights, LED light bar. So there's your LED light bar, LED driving lights. LED tail lights, brake lights. So I'll go ahead and turn off the lights, turn off the car here for you. So you can see here, I'll turn those off in one second. There we go. Turn off the car. You have a horn down there. So a couple of things that I want to point out, I believe in full disclosure. So uh, with the sand and stuff like that, you have a horn right here this horn is about 19 bucks you can get one on amazon if you want me to replace it a for, for 25 bucks whatever it costs i'll put one in there for you um you can probably buy one at ebay or something they just get sometimes some sand in them but there's a horn button down there um but you do have all your steps right here to get in inside the car in and out um like i said your ecotech this is not a Volkswagen. These Ecotechs are actually used by Polaris in the Polaris Slingshot, that three um, wheeled trike or auto cycle. They actually use a 2.4. These have been around for a long time. Uh, started in back, I think in 1997, maybe 1995 in a Pontiac Solstice. Uh, those were 2.2 liter superchargers. But I think originally they started in the Chevy Cavalier or the uh, Chevy Cobalt. Um, they were 2.0s and 2.2s, 2.4s, now they make 2.5s. Um, they still actually manufacture these today. ATV Racing used those in their uh, Taz cars. Very, very cool little motors, uh, high revving motors. Like I said, it's street legal. Drive in the sand, the snow, the dirt, the grass. Um, it's way faster than those UTVs. And you know, ask yourself this folks, have you ever seen a UTV with 10,000 miles? 20,000, 30,000, 40, 50, even 100,000. These are car motors, folks. So they're gonna last. You have a Volkswagen uh, upgraded 091 bus transaxle. You know, and the sky's the limit with these things. If you wanna put a supercharger on here, you can put a supercharger, you can put a turbo. You can switch these things out very, very easily. You know, you can put a Honda V6. Um, excuse me, a lot of people are putting in Subarus. If you wanna run a Subaru 2.2, I'm sorry, a Subaru 2.0 or a 2.5. Uh, you can also put in uh, an LS1, LS2, LS3. You just have to be careful on the transaxle. When you start going with heavier horsepower, high horsepower motors, you have to upgrade your transaxle so you don't blow the transaxle. But you can put in a Mendiola, you can put in an Albans, you can put in a Fortin. You know, there's cars out there from San Limo that have 2,000 horsepower. You know, it just depends on how crazy you want to get. His cars are, you know, about 40 grand to start for a basic model right now. And we'll probably run you all the way up to, you know, almost a million dollars for a fully built class one trophy truck. Same thing with Tatum uh, Motorsports Buckshot. You know, when you compare this, folks, to the UTVs, there is no comparison. The safety, folks, the overall safety of this entire car is a lot safer. You're very unlikely to roll over in this one compared to the UTVs. Those UTVs have such a short track width and such a high center of gravity and a short wheelbase. That's why they're rolling over. The main thing they're rolling over is, is driver air. Everyone thinks that they're a professional driver out in the dunes doing donuts. But that's what they started with those UTV craze was making those things with 64 inch track width. That's from tire to tire right here. And so you can get those in a UTV. Well, the problem was you start rolling over because they have such a short track width. Then they started increasing the track width with wheel spacers, putting on two inch wheel spacers on each side. Then you know now you can get a 72 inch Can-Am and you can actually put on wheel spacers. So now you can have a, a total of 78 inches. You can put on a two inch wheel spacer, a two inch wheel spacer, uh, Lone Star Racing. They were making long travel kits, which is what you see right here. You know, a long travel kit on a Can-Am and one of those UTVs is gonna run you about 6,500 bucks. Also, look at the fact that on those UTVs of the recalls, I believe Polaris uh, had a couple recalls. Um, 
you know, another thing with Polaris, I believe that there was some type of settlement in either 2018 or 2019 with uh, some 15 year old kid that I believe burned to death because those turbos were catching on fire and they actually settled the uh, multi-million dollar class action lawsuit for somewhere in 75 or 80 million dollars for those UTVs catching on fire. Um, look at the Can-Ams, folks. Those Can-Ams are great cars, but the front ends, you know, they're all walled out from so many jumps. They have to be upgraded with the gusset kit from either Geyser or Wheeler. Those are notorious. Also, the radius rods that break on those UTVs, you know, a lot of times the radius rods, because they're not chrome ollie. This is all chrome ollie front and rear back on the suspension, but the radius rods are those three tubes that go under here. This uses the trailing arms and then the 930 Porsche CV boots and axles uh, eliminates basically having the car endo over end or lose traction. That's why, you know, Robbie Gordon, I believe, is the only one that uses the uh, radius rods on his Speed UTV and the Double uh, X Wildcat from Textron because he believed in trailing arms versus radius rods. So there's some safety aspects when compared to those UTVs. Um, I think that these sand rails, like I said, are a lot safer. I've had over 80 plus sand rails, UTVs. Um, like I said, this thing is second to none, the, the high quality. You have all these extra storage uh, bags right here. Um, you can have, like I said, the uh, headsets to plug in, which like I said, I'm probably not gonna include, but we can probably work something out on that. The turning brakes, um, it is, like I said, street legal. You can have uh, the removable steering wheel to prevent theft easy access so this just comes right off here you can just see this and uh, let me go ahead and just take this off right here as you can see there we go so there is the quick access to the car um has the kill switch right here for the battery which this will you just turn this off right here for storage the quick disconnect for the battery yellow top battery you have a trunk back here folks so you can push these tabs down and you can put your snacks back there, any type of tow rope. You don't have to worry about breaking down your cooler. Um, you have your three bypass fans right there to keep the car extremely cool. And then, like I said, the full roof, which is all removable. The body panels, which are removable, your GoPro mounts. Uh, it's a very, very, very high dollar car fully polished aluminum wheels on the front and in the rear disc brakes bfg all trains i have full a set of paddle tires and trailer tires that i will sell outside which will not be included like i said along with the uh, uh suspension seats for the kiddos um and the uh radios right here that like I said you can talk you can plug in your ipod only very a couple minor things like i said you have to do is you know like i said your horn right there um, and then like your lighted whip right here. You just need to put in another lighted whip uh, if you want to flag for the dunes. The other great thing about this, folks, safety-wise, in California, in Glamis, you have to wear a helmet. Um, in the sand rails, you don't. So the UTVs, you must wear a helmet at all times, even if you are over 18 years of age. Um, this car, like I said, is extremely safe, perfect for anyone. You know, you're, if you're about six foot seven, you'll fit in the car extremely well. Plenty of headroom. I have buddies that are six foot seven. You can drive the car, teach your kids how to drive. Like I said, fully street legal. You have all your necessary safety equipment. Like I said, clean, clear, Arizona title in my name, registered to me, VIN number. Um, you know, if you wanted to do something, maybe some type of graphics, you can wrap the car, do some type of blue pinstripe if you don't like the yellow, or if you wanted to wrap the panels. These are just Zeus fasteners that come off. Um, but this suspension is very, very high dollar, fully built by Joe Fab, San Limo. Um, great, great car. Like I said, he's still in business today. I mean, think about that, folks, with the whole uh, economy going upside down in 2008, 2009, a lot of manufacturers went out of business, never came back but these cars are built to withstand the test of time. People come to Arizona to actually get their roll cages made because those roll cages from the UTVs from the factory are just polyurethane plastic and they're junk, folks. This is an extremely safe car. It is a no reserve auction. It will sell to the highest bidder. Don't wait until the last minute. Like I said, folks, bid to win. Thank you and good luck.